it's Raven. Welcome back to another episode of Raven's Dream Home, the series where I take you through the process of buying slash building slash decorating my new house. And if you have not seen all the other episodes in this series, I highly suggest you check it out and get caught up. I will have everything linked down below. For this episode, I am first going to give you guys a house update, a construction update, and show you guys where they are at in the construction process. And then I'm also going to take you furniture shopping with me my first time like really really furniture shopping and starting to get an idea of you know some of the major pieces that I'm going to need to buy for the new house and then if you stay till the end of this video you are actually going to get a bonus construction update because they added a few more things at the last minute that I also wanted to show you guys inside the new house so stay tuned till the end of the video to see that what did you just tell me boo boo you said this is going to be our new house? Yeah, did you know that right when we pulled up here? You're so smart. And the people are building it. Yes, the people are building it. And the shower has a bathtub and the, and the bathtub has a shower. It does. So first thing I noticed is that there's a big pile of rubble out here. It looks like they're kind of cleaning up the lot and cleaning up everything out front to maybe get ready to actually do the driveway and stuff like they kind of cleared everything off so i think that might be coming up soon so now i can actually walk up to the front door because before there was so much like stuff in the way this is my first time walking through the little entrance way through the front door wow made a lot of progress on the staircase you can see my iron railing now black iron railing and this light colored wood is going to be stained a really really dark color so it's not going to be this light color same thing goes for the actual stair steps these are going to be stained a really really dark color although the light color is actually kind of cute and zaya gets to check it out too this is like your first time really seeing it in a while, I think, or at all. I can't remember the last time we were able to bring you over here because obviously it's not very kid friendly, but now that they've made a lot of progress, it's safe for you to walk through with me. So yeah, you can see all the progress that they made on the staircase and then the balcony up there. Hello. What do you think? Looks good. A couple. Yeah, it's cold in here. Oh my gosh. It's Grammy and Papa. <laughs> when we pulled up before I even said anything, she was like, this is gonna be our new house. Oh. So here's a view of what the kitchen is looking like right now. You can see the white cabinet tree starting to go in. They made a lot of progress since the last time I was here in person. See, we didn't get this. We didn't really know what this is gonna look like because we haven't seen it. But it's really cool because your refrigerator will kind of look like a built-in. And this is where the microwave is gonna go and the oven. I decided not to do double ovens. Oven, microwave, refrigerator, extra cabinets, two levels of extra cabinets. Look at all the storage. All the storage over here. All the storage. Yeah, you can see some of the special cabinet options that I have here, like this extra pull-out thing for pots and pans, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then the trash can. Oh, they actually put the actual... <laughs> I guess they just came with the cabinet set. This is the trash can recycling setup. And this is perfect for like coffee. Okay, so to give you a little overview from the kitchen, Going over into the living room. This is the fireplace. This is where um, it's gonna be an all like tile wall and the TV is gonna be mounted right here. And it goes really high, really high ceilings in here. So I just really love like the flow of this, like how open this is. Everything is all open. You have the big sliding door right here. The windows above it. 
and it's all open to the kitchen windows over here it's so bright in here i love all the natural light I'm not sure if they've changed anything in the bedroom since the last time i showed you guys oh we have cabinets in the master bathroom that's new so you can see the light gray color that i chose for my cabinetry in here, which is going to play off of the marble tile. The bathtub and the floor and the shower is all gonna have like this marble looking tile that has, it's gonna be white tile, but it has like some light gray detailing in the tile. So I wanted light gray cabinets to kind of match with that. So you can see the color there. Oh yeah, the um little extra, office homework station. I have these darker gray cabinets in here just to do something different. So you can see here how it's like a work area. You would put a chair right here and it's got the one window. And then the laundry room. The laundry room has the same light gray cabinets as the master bedroom. Again, just to do something different rather than plain white everywhere. I thought this light gray was fresh and clean for a laundry room. So this is where a sink is gonna go. This is just storage, storage, storage. The drink refrigerator that I've been talking about is gonna go right there. And then the washer and dryer goes right there. We have the office and the glam room. Nothing's really changed in there, but now I can finally take you guys upstairs because I don't think I've even like showed the upstairs at all in any of the videos because it like kind of wasn't safe to come up here and they were working. You coming up here? Now that the stairs are structurally sound, you can come up here. And we got the balconies up. Wow, this is gonna be your playroom in here. Come up the stairs, it's all nice and open. You got your big windows. You see a house. So this is obviously plenty of space for Zaya's playroom, all her toys and whatever else. There's gonna be a TV mount right here. Going this way into the guest room. This is the guest room. Just a standard bedroom. Here's the guest room bathroom. It's gonna have a shower, toilet, and a sink, of course. And there's gonna be a wall right here because I did decide to divide this bathroom into two bathrooms so Zaya can have her own bathroom. Going into Zaya's room, Zaya's room is a little bit bigger than the guest room. She's got the nice walk-in closet over here. gonna be your new room. Wow, so big. <laughs> but yeah, if you go back out through this way through, her bathroom is gonna have the sink, the toilet, and a shower tub thing. Cause she still needs an actual bathtub to take baths. So here's a view from the upstairs balcony overlooking the living room. Do, 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 do. All right, you guys, for the second half of this video, I wanted to start taking you guys furniture shopping with me because it is about that time. You guys just saw all the progress that they made on the house and we're getting closer and closer to it being finished. So we just pulled up to Z Gallery as our first stop. And I'm here with my mom. Ooh, this is the old Raven Elise. Yeah. This is Raven Lee's 2016 turquoise mint green stuff. Ooh, sparkly, this, wow. So now they wanna have my perfect color scheme, but I'm actually not gonna be going for this color scheme really at all in my house. Like maybe in the laundry room, I'll incorporate some mint green, but definitely not like in the living room or kitchen or anything. That's crazy. First thing I see in here is mint green, gold, and white. <laughs> And back when I wanted all that stuff, it was hard to find it. You were ahead of the curve. For the um, kitchen, dining area, I really want a long rectangular table because it, it's just the way that the shape of the room is, really. 
and then I really like the wooden wooden top and I like this this kind of color where it's almost like a grayish color $14.99 what are, what are your fixtures in the kitchen? Fixtures, like the sink. And what are your drawer pulls gonna be? For the um, cabinet knobs, that was where I was considering putting brass. Either brass or black. Well, you know, that's gonna all have to pull together. So you have to think about all that. So this is like similar to this current sofa that I have in the living room. Small, rectangular, gray. And I'm gonna be moving my that sofa up in the playroom, most likely. And I need to definitely upgrade. Um, this is a cute coffee table. Yeah, that's cute. A golden block. But yeah, I need to definitely upgrade the type of sofa that I'm gonna put in the living room because it's a much bigger space. I want like a sectional type thing. This is like a queen size bed. This is like. You just sit normally, but then it's like... Well, what would be a good idea to do is to get the floor plan mapped out and then get some cutouts of the furniture dimensions and kind of move them around and really see how much space you're going to have left. Because this is, I mean, although you have room, this is a great big sofa. But look at this one over here. I think feel like this one's too traditional. And I do want a light colored sofa for the living room. Like I can't see myself doing like a, a dark brown leather or tan leather or dark gray. I want something like this kind of light neutral color. What do you think about this chair? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't really want to do any of this acrylic stuff. I don't really like the fact that it's like silver. Like this whole, this is too, too modern, almost like, too modern. So she was saying, the this one, it's like two or three weeks, but if you pick a different fabric, it's like a custom order, and it takes like nine to 11 weeks. Oh. So that's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm moving into a new house beginning of May. Okay. So. May 15th, probably target date. All right. How many weeks is that? Like eight or yeah. Okay. So that's why I need to get going on that. People will come in, they'll be like, hey, I want this custom item, but I need it like next Friday. It's like, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Is your name Raven? Yeah. My name is Raven. What? That's why when she said, I'll put it out for you, Raven. I was like, thanks. Wait, how did you know my name? Uh, Raven's Raven. Yeah. <laughs> I rarely meet other Ravens. Is um, it R A V E N? Is yours too? Mm -hmm. Cool. So, what color do you like this color? This is like, Tannish, maybe a little warm. I mean, I like it. I like, I like it. Also, has a little bit of a texture to it. Zaya is the one who uses the sofa downstairs, and she's just laying on it and jumping on it. So I kind of want to think about that in terms of getting something that's a little bit durable. But at the same time, what I want for the design is not very kid friendly. <laughs> This is 3,000. Two piece extra deep sofa. Like this, like this color? One. Is this? No, see, this is that's like different because it's like. See how this is like scratchy? It I think feels that's a different textured. Thing. And this is like flat. Because they have different ones if you go back. This is more of a flat suede. That's pretty. I like that. And I like. Yeah, basically all these like beige suede looking ones. I already know what bed I want, and it's from Restoration Hardware. It's like a black iron frame. Is that called a canopy, I guess? Mm -hmm. no. But it's expensive. Well, you can have like an item that you splurge on and then some like, mid-range item. I mean, that's a simple style. I haven't checked other places to see I've, what they have. Also, I'll tell you guys right now, I'm not doing mirrored furniture in my bedroom. That's a very popular glam youtuber thing to do but i'm not doing that i think some people think that i'm gonna be like really frou-frou and glittery and pink and teal in my house but i mean if you've watched my if you've watched my previous house videos you know i'm not gonna do that but just to be just to clarify i'm not gonna do that so i'm looking for a lot more like simple neutral stuff oh there's a lot of options for artwork too because you've got a lot of wall space to 
feel? My office is probably going to be the one pink sparkling room. I mean, besides like Zaya's room, I guess. Mm -hmm. But for me and like the typical Ray Dalí stuff that I like, like stuff like this, I'll put it in my office, but not my bedroom or the living room or anything like that. But I'm saying like in my glam room, like I'm not really gonna need art because I want the wall to be blank for filming purposes. Yeah. For the most part. But like you said, if you did that built in with that space in between, you might want to piece put a piece of art there or something like that. Yeah. That would just look good in the background. And like for the glam room, like I want like a lot of my makeup on display and then like little stuff like this on the shelves in between just kind of break it up and then it'll be like a cool background stuff like this little more like girly stuff is what i would get like for my office for the glam room backdrop setup they've got a lot of sparkly stuff i do want to have some chairs and decorative throw pillows in my office so that's probably where i'll like bring in the pink stuff like this all right so that was the gallery just wanted to browse around in there obviously like not buying anything today but there's also pottery barn right here i have not been in this store in years and years and years i used to love the pottery barn teen and the pottery barn kids remember when i used to get the pottery barn teen magazines and like beg you for stuff out of there from my room <laughs> oh see they have a, a frame bed it's not the same thing, but yeah, it's kind of rustic. Pottery Barn looks like it's a lot more rustic, country, living, farmhouse, which I do want to incorporate a little bit of that into my house, but not too much. 40 bucks per. That one stick is 40 yeah. bucks? One, two, three, four, five. $200. I mean, it's very well done. It's very realistic. The realistic fake plants are always super expensive. Yeah. Yeah, I think I definitely want a table that has the rustic wooden top, but modern legs. Ooh, this floor set was on sale for $1,000. And they have a lot more lamps and stuff that you need to... Yeah. This is, yeah, I was gonna say, this is another couch that like would work and would look fine, but it's just more simple, traditional, kind of boring. Yeah, nothing in here is really catching my eye in terms of any pizzazz. So this will probably be a place that I get a few accessories just to bring in more of that rustic farmhouse flair. Actually, I like this whole little section right here. These are some vibes I can incorporate into my kitchen. You know, it's, it's farmhouse, but it's not too, too much. This is cute. I like these the way they've got these plants. I like this plant. I like these really simple wooden things to incorporate, but also paired up with like, you know what I mean? Do you get the vibe? Yeah, I just like this whole color scheme, how it's like a white. The cabinets that it's sitting on is white with white background, but it brings in the, the natural color of the wood. It brings in black and it brings in the green from the plants. That's kind of what I want my kitchen to look like. Also with a little bit of brass. Like a little, a little bit. Mm -hmm. They have brass um, silverware. This is fancy. Silver. Next up we are at Sugar Boo and Co. I've never been here before. It's really different stuff. More eclectic artwork and stuff. This is more like for that handmade feel. It's like cute little stuff to add to your kitchen or whatever to kind of just stand out. Again, obviously bringing in that rustic feel. You know, I gotta have a Texas something somewhere. <laughs> I like these um, things, these woven tapestry things. For kids' room, something that's whimsical, like that artwork, but not... Disney. <laughs> commercialized. Yeah, I don't like the commercialized kids stuff. I like the more handmade, like, feels like it was almost made by a child. This type of artwork for the playroom, these little accessories, little handmade, little, like, stuff like this is so cute to me. Yeah, so I think people, like, take something like that or this piece of art and then build a whole room around the thing. Like, use it for inspiration. And they actually have these a similar thing like this in Target, but these are better because these have more of a handmade flair to it and like 
they're a little bit more unique than the ones that are at Target. Like I wouldn't take it to this extreme of like having stuff like this, mm -hmm. but I would have more of a, I would still have modern furniture, but I would decorate it with like handmade stuff. They have cute dream catchers and stuff. All right, next stop on the inspiration station is our house. Again, just kind of compiling my ideas, seeing what I like and what I don't like, and I'll be able to go home and have more of a clear view of exact items that I need to start ordering and whatnot. And of course, I will let you guys know what I get. You guys are gonna see the whole process of me decorating each room. I wanna do it like room by room. So instead of just like showing me shopping for everything all at once for the whole house, I really want to divide it into multiple videos. So stay tuned for that. You know, be on the lookout. Probably the first room I'm going to do is like the living room or the kitchen. So be uh, on the lookout for a video dedicated to buying furniture and decorating each room. So this is our house. Again, they've got the tables, the grayish wooden rectangular tables. So that'll be the one thing that's not hard to find or buy, definitely. I don't like that one. I don't like the color. This is a nice sectional. It's deep, but it's not as deep as the other one. It just has a little bit more structure to it than that other one, which is what I like about it. It's a little bit more square, rectangular, clean lines. It comes in different colors and materials, so I could get it in a lighter beige color rather than this darker gray color. Supposedly regularly $7,200 on sale for $4,700. That other huge one at Z Gallery was $2,000. See, this is just too squishy. Why is it so squishy? <laughs> that looks weird. Just looks sloppy. And this couch is like really boxy and not squishy at all. What I don't like about this one is they're all separate and it's so easy to like you like fall in between the cracks If you sit right here, you're gonna like it's gonna make the couch move and you're just gonna fall on the floor And it's like really annoying to keep it in the proper placement this table would more so play off of the dark You know like the black knobs If I had black details in my kitchen this table would kind of play off of that and then the bottom of it is more modern with the metal with kind of brass legs. So I do like the idea of this table, but I just originally thought that I would want that light gray color. I like the cowhide. I like the, um, the way this sofa is built. I don't like the fabric, so I would pick a different fabric because this fabric is kind of like, got that grainy texture to it. The way that the edges of the sofa really makes a difference, like whether it's straight like this or whether it has like that rounded soft look, I like the straight ones. But the price tag, obviously don't want to do anything like this for my kitchen table because my kitchen countertops will clash really badly. Now for my bed, I already said that I think I really want the one with the iron railing, which I'm going to show you in a minute at Restoration Hardware because we're going there next. But another thing that I'm considering if I don't do that is something like this like a really big oversized tufted soft headboard you see they have a couple other options like really big oversized tall ones all right final stop of the day restoration hardware my favorite we actually came here in a previous video shopping for inspiration for my patio furniture because they have a really nice outdoor section as well so check that video out if you haven't seen it. I pretty much love everything in this store. As you can see, it's very um, neutral, but glamorous, but simple, but modern, but not really. And they have different sections of different styles throughout this store, but this store is pricey. Pricey, pricey, pricey. I like this table. I like that it's got just the simple bloop bloop for the legs they've just got really beautiful simple designs clean lines white brass gray i just love everything in here this is what i want my house to look like this is literally exactly like what i'm trying to do in my master bathroom 
with the gray cabinets, white and gray marble. And then I wanna bring in like the brass gold detail. Like this is literally the vibe for my master bathroom. That's just too big. So far, I like every couch and every coffee table that I've seen. Okay, so I was trying to show you the bed that I wanted in Restoration Hardware, but number one, we actually got in trouble for filming in there. <laughs> and number two, they did not have the bed on display in the store anymore like they used to. But this is the bed. It's just a simple iron canopy bed. I know it doesn't look like much when you see it by itself, but it looks really, really cute in like a fully decorated room. I've seen it on Instagram a lot. So yeah, this is the bed that I was talking about. All right, guys, so that was basically my first time furniture shopping. Obviously, I didn't really buy anything but I got a good idea of a few pieces a few main major big pieces that I kind of wanted to see in person before I order it so I am going to be ordering a few things online like probably the sofa and the kitchen table probably the chairs bar stools I just want to get some of those major pieces out of the way first so now I have a good idea of kind of what I want to get and where I want to get it from but like I said earlier in the video I will be doing separate videos videos about decorating each room so for example when it comes to decorating the living room I'm going to be doing one video all about the living room showing you guys you know shopping putting things together where I bought all the furniture from showing you guys the whole process of decorating the living room so that'll be a separate video so definitely stay tuned for future videos for decorating each room and like I said in the beginning of this video if you stay till the end I was going to show you another little extra sneak peek of the new house some extra footage that I got at the last minute they actually added in the countertops so my kitchen countertops my master bathroom most of I think all the rest of the bathrooms I think the only room that doesn't have countertops now is the laundry room these are the baseboards and these are all the doors that go inside the house, all stacked up. You can kind of see this one poking out. They've now added countertops in here. So it has plastic over it, but you can see like right here, this is what the countertops are in here with the dark gray cabinetry for the mail room, homework station room. There's no countertops in the laundry room yet, but the most exciting place that has countertops is the kitchen. Ooh, so you can see my faux marble. I don't want to peel it off because they need that, but you can see it through the plastic. What my kitchen counters are. So this is actually a quart, I believe it's quartz countertops that's made to look like marble. So it's a little bit less expensive than actual marble, but still gives the same effect. And in here in the master bath, I have plain white counters to go with the gray cabinets. This is the extra guest room, which will actually be my glam room studio room. And the bathroom in here, I never showed you guys, actually has white cabinets with gray countertops. And the countertops are like a little bit sparkly. You see the sparkles? I wanted to do something kind of glam for the glam room. The tile that's gonna be going in the shower has like a little bit of sparkle to it too. So pretty much the whole house is like some combination of white and gray, but just like different, different combos in each room. So now we are upstairs in Zaya's room, Zaya's bathroom. The color scheme is the same light gray that's in my bathroom. And she has a different kind of sparkly countertop white with like this kind of sparkly glass detailing throughout it like little shards of glass almost so it's a little bit more girly a little bit more sparkly for her bathroom you can kind of see the sparkle with the light gray and i'm gonna just walk through this wall <laughs> into the guest room bathroom which will be separate like i said this will eventually be an actual wall so it'll be separated and the guest room is the same thing. I just decided to make them match. So same countertop, same cabinets, 
as what's gonna be over there in Saya's bathroom. I was kind of nervous to see what the countertops were gonna look like in person, like fully installed, and I really, really like them. So I just wanted to throw that at the end of this video as like another little extra step that they have added, a little extra sneak peek getting closer to the finished product but actually i believe now the next like house update or the next time that i show you the new house is actually going to be the finished empty house tour because at this point they were pretty much almost done and so by the time i get ready to post another video i think they're going to be done so yeah definitely stay tuned for the next episode of raven's dream home i'm pretty sure it's going to be the finished empty house tour you guys are going to get to see it finally all done in all its glory and then from there after that i will start taking you guys room by room decorating and furnishing the entire house so i'm super super excited i hope you guys are too give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe so you don't miss out on that empty house tour and i'll see you guys in the next video bye